We're going to do a couple of problems where we practice the order of operations. You may have run into this before, and you may have even seen PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. That's the order in which we complete operations. And within the sort of the pairs here, these two, these two, and these two, we complete left to right. But if any of the ones prior to the operation you're working on still exist, you should do it first. Here we have the same problem three times, and we're actually going to complete um, all three versions and see what happens as you introduce parentheses. You'll see the only difference here between these three versions of the problem are that the parentheses exist. So let's see what happens to the answer to the problem as we work through adding parentheses or not. Our first example here, we have 4 minus 7. That gives us negative 3. So we have negative 3 minus 11 plus 2. Negative 3 minus 11 is negative 14. So we have negative 14 plus 2, which gives us negative 12. In our second example, we have one set of parentheses, so we'll complete that first. We have 7 minus 11, that's negative 4. So now we have 4 minus negative 4 plus 2. And when you're subtracting a negative, that's the same as adding. So we have 8 plus 2, and 8 plus 2 equals 10. And then in our third example here, we have two sets of parentheses. So first we're going to complete 11 plus 2, that's 13. Now we have 7 minus 13 in parentheses. You can see that that's done. 7 minus 13 is negative 6. So now we have negative 6. And this is done. Now we have 4 minus negative 6. Again, subtracting a negative is the same as adding. So we have 10. And you can see here that changing the order of operations sometimes doesn't change the answer at all, and sometimes it changes it a lot, <laughs> negative 12 to 10. So we want to keep track of the order of operations to make sure that we don't end up getting the wrong answer on something just because we did something out of order. This time we're actually going to evaluate the expressions given a value for each variable. In our first expression we have 2 minus 3 times x plus 2, and we're going to evaluate that for x equals 2. So we'll take that 2, plug it in where x is, and we get 2 minus the quantity 3 times 2 plus 2. So we do parentheses first, and within the parentheses, multiplication first. So we have 3 times 2, that's 6. 6 plus 2 remains in parentheses, and 2 minus that quantity. 6 plus 2 is 8. So now we have 2 minus 8 and 2 minus 8 is negative 6. And then the other uh, problem here in B, we have 3y squared plus 2y plus 1, and we're solving it or evaluating it for y equals negative 3. So we'll put that negative 3 in here and in here. That'll give us 3 times negative 3 squared plus 2 times negative 3 plus 1, 3 squared, or negative 3 squared is 9, 3 times 9, plus 2 times, actually we'll just do the next step, plus 2 times negative 3, plus 1. Now we'll do multiplication all the way left to right. 3 times 9 is 27, sorry, I should be crossing these out as they're done, plus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, plus 1. And now we have 27 plus negative 6, that's 21. And 21 plus 1 is 22.